first big event of the year is the, the so-called welcome afternoon. This is the first time when all students meet at the end of the first week. And this is a very casual event. It's a good chance for them to mingle and get to know us, get to know each other. They find out different programs about Budapest and Hungary. A very exciting part is when uh, we set up a large world map. And by the end of the day, it shows a really diverse student body and it shows that students are from more than 100 countries and how international our student body is. Since most of our students are not from Hungary, and they don't speak the language, they, know, they don't know the city when they arrive. It's very important that there is someone native who helps them and organizes for them the first couple of uh, bigger events. See, it's important to, to emphasize that see, it's not only uh, we have an international group of students here in CU, but everybody is international, so our entire student body is international. So we try to build on this fact when we organize our programs or when we plan activities for the students. And for example, we organize the International Festival. It's a great chance for them to dress in, in their traditional dresses. They perform their traditional dances or they play music. And the best part of the day is when they cook their, their national dishes. And you know, you walk around and you can taste uh, different, uh, different dishes from, from different countries. It's very, very delicious. In the winter time, the outdoor event is the ice skating party. Last winter it was very interesting because uh, we were so lucky with the weather. At the beginning it was clear sky and uh, for the second half it started snowing. Besides the ice skating uh, party, we of course have some indoor events as well during the winter time because it's very typical for the cold uh, season to, to drink hot drinks like hot chocolate or hot wine. We used to have for these purposes uh, hot chocolate Fridays or chocolate chat Fridays. It's a fact that um, uh, studying is very, very hard here in CU. So our office tries to make sure that we, we provide uh, lots of activities for them where they can relax or where they can just engage in different activities out of the classroom. For us it's very important to see and we are very happy to see that students are, are satisfied and happy to participate on, on all these events. They have a very good opportunity to, to form the CU community and to make it even stronger and bigger. We organize uh, two uh, big sports days during the year. One is the so-called autumn fall sports day and in the springtime we have an even bigger event uh, it's the island picnic and sports day that's um, a very very popular uh, community building event for CU uh, we organized it for the second time this spring we had uh, over 700 people coming to the event uh, faculty staff students and their friends and also family members and uh, we were very happy to see that many participants brought their children and we had a, a special children's corner for, for, for little kids. We would like to create uh, programs that would bring together the whole CU community and by this way we would set up new and new traditions here in CU. We are really very busy at the end of the year because we have some, some major events. One of them is the Spring Ball. Last year we had a turnout more than 800 people and it's, Spring Ball brings together not only students but it brings together alumni, faculty, staff um, and it's really a, a large event in, in CEU's life. At the end of the year we organize a graduation party. This would be a very good opportunity for them to get together again. It's always very nice to see how many friendships are created during the year before students go home after finishing their studies here. It's, it's very nice to see that despite the fact that we have students from all over the world, we can still talk about the CU community. I really enjoy my work because uh, I can see, when I look backwards, I see how we grew, how Student Life Office and student activities grew from, from the small programs that we started uh, nine, ten years ago. And by now, you know, we, we can say that we have new traditions. It's a great achievement. So I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very proud of it. Mm -hmm.